friends, this is Janet with Photography Makes and I'm coming on to show a little Dollar Tree haul and a little haul from a D-Stash seller on Instagram. So I'm going to start with the Dollar Tree stuff because I found um, some Valentine's Day things. So first of all, I found the little um, gumball machine. And I decided to buy the red one and I put some bells in there because I thought they'd be a cute way to store them. But they had them both in uh, pink and then they had them in red. I also found these really cute metal signs. So we got the, uh, the beetle and then the red truck. So I think these are really cute. I think these would be really cute in a wreath. I think they'd be really cute, maybe even altered. I don't know. I just picked one up, picked up one of each. Um, yeah, not sure what I'm going to do with those yet, but I think they're sweet. I also found these wood um, hearts. They had them in two different shapes. So these are more of a straight heart up and down. And this one has more of like a swoop. Can you tell? So I think they look like side, side by side. So yep, I got one of each of those. I also picked up some pop dots in the square and in the round because I needed some more of these. Um, I found this pretty floral ribbon that I think will look nice with my um, flowers I've been making for my wreath. So that might be my, my ribbon. I might do some sort of ribbon or intertwine it somehow. I'm not sure. And then I found these um, fleece fat quarters. So I picked up, um, they, I think they had another, actually another pattern too, but these are the three I chose. I think these will be nice for um, Christmas projects or country projects or whatever. <laughs> so, yep, I got some of those to make some sewing things. And then now to my D stash, I, did I, oh, I'm lying. I also picked up the hearts, um, you know, in case I do any uh, project shares or swaps this year, which I would like to do because I haven't done any yet. And then I found vinyl in this purple color, and they had it in shimmer, and then they had a flat purple, and I thought these were really pretty. So I grabbed the vinyl. Um, I have bought a lot of Dollar Tree vinyl. I honestly haven't cut, <laughs> cut it yet because I'm not sure what to do with it, but... I pick it up when I see it because um, you never know when you're going to need a color. Okay, so the D-Stash items I picked up. Um, look at the cute card she sent. Isn't this beautiful? <laughs> I love her like um, layering too and the colors. It's just super pretty. Um, but I grabbed the Tweet Friends from My Favorite Things. I... Uh, I think, oh, this is Stacy Yukula, right? Is that how you say her name? Um, I love her drawings. So I'm excited to have the little birdies because I, I see so many projects with them and they're so cute. I also picked up this Brutus Monroe um, angel die. It's just a large die. I think this will be nice for um, next year making tags or card fronts or something. And then I also grabbed this star cross stitch nesting die by Daisy May Design. And it's really cute. It has like these little hash marks in it. So I really liked this. And then she was getting rid of some of these uh, wood stamps. I know this bag's a little weird. We're gonna have to stump it. Um, so it came with um, this bag stamp by Dots. It's quite a large stamp. I think this will be really cute. I think I'm gonna put some gingerbread or something in it. Um, it also had the Stampin' Up or Bust. <laughs> Looks like a little banner for like an airplane. Uh, this one says Friends from Sea to Shining Sea. A little baby bottle. This is JRL Designs. Um, it's a girl stamp. That must go together because it's the same designer. Um, Are We There Yet? By Stampin' Up. <laughs> Um, special delivery, another Stampin' Up heart. It's pretty with the little rose. Uh, let's see. And then these must be, I think this is a set all together. Yep. And then I've got another one. Friendships are like quilts stitched together with love. And then a little stitching uh, 
um, sewing basket, I should say. So that's cute. Um, from our house to yours. That's cute too. Put it on an envelope maybe. And then these are all like handmade. So design by. Here's what's cooking. From the garden of. Homemade. Sweet treats from our house to yours. I thought these were really cute because I've been making a lot of. Um, well, I'm going to show that next. And then this one, I don't know what this says. It has something to do with being sewn with love. But it doesn't have the sticker on the top. So that's all I know about that. <laughs> Okay, and then the next thing that I have been getting into, and maybe you're interested, um, is knitting. So I bought myself this knitting machine. This is like the worst angle ever, right? I got all these stamps. Um, can I, let's see, let's see if I can zoom out. So I bought myself this knitting machine. And what it does is... You crank, there's a little manual crank on the side here, and you crank, you crank it, and the needles pick up the yarn, and then um, knit it for you, right? So I thought this was really fun. And what it essentially makes are these really cool hats. So <laughs> this has been my project for the last couple of days. Um, made one in green, uh, I made one in hot, hot colors, hot neon colors. And then I, I bought these pom-poms from, um, Amazon. And then I made one in light pink and white, the white pom-pom. So <laughs> yes, um, that's what I've been doing the last couple of days is knitting hats. Um, and we, I liked it so much. I bought one for my sister. I'm like, you have to get one of these. You're going to love it. So, um, of course, I have a bunch of yarn that I had purchased today. Um, I was off today, so my son and I went to the craft store, and that's what we were doing, <laughs> buying yarn. But um, that is all I have to share today. Um, and, yeah, it's going to be New Year's in two days, and I'm super excited for 2022. The last two years have been really hard. I'm hoping 2022 will be a little easier and People will be able to spend more time with their families and friends and all that. But I hope you all stay well, and I'll talk to you again soon. Bye.